Have you ever dreamed of bringing mind-blowing animations to life in Flutter? Hold on to your coding socks, because today's your lucky day. I'm going to guide you through crafting, stunning, eye-catching designs using the power of Flutter animations. In this video, we will create this awesome design using amazing animations of Flutter, where we can drag this image up or down and under this widget, another widget is expanding or collapsing. And by clicking on the image widget, we can also go to the full view screen. We are starting from this design already. You can get this starter source code in the description. This is simple where we have an app bar, bottom navigation bar, and locations widget in the body. Inside locations widget, we have a page view builder. This is the builder which builds all the images here. We have location widget inside the item builder of page builder, which is one of these cards. Inside location widget, we have an image widget. Inside image widget, we have build image, build top text, and lat long widget in a stack. Lat long widget has some text and an icon in a row. First of all, we want to create the transition of this image widget. So inside location widget dot dart file, Let's create an expanded Boolean flag to check every time if image widget is expanded or not expanded. We have to create the animation like in the preview between these states via this expanded Boolean flag. So let's wrap our image widget with a stack and then wrap our image widget with animated position to change the position of image widget. If you see the preview, image goes up a little bit and then it goes down. First, let's animate it, and then we will animate the white container below it. Let's set the duration to 500 milliseconds. And then we are checking if it is expanded, then it will be higher like 150 pixels from the bottom, otherwise it will be less like 100 pixels from the bottom. Next, let's wrap our image widget with gesture detector to recognize the user interaction. For this, on pan update is used for if the user interacts with the image and drags it around. Let's create on pan update method here. We are checking if Y coordinate is negative. This means the user is expanding this widget or dragging it to the top, then set expanded to true using set state. And the other case is that if the Y coordinate is positive, this means the user is not expanding this widget. He is dragging it to the bottom, so set the expanded to false. Now, it looks like animation by dragging up or down, and it is changing the position of the image. 50 pixels more to the top when expanded. We can do this with every location widget which we have here. Now we want to create the white background container. In the preview, this image is going up, and then white container is expanding a bit, and also changing its opacity, position, height, and width. To create a white container below the image, we have already wrapped this image widget with a stack. I have created the expanded content widget to create this white container. Here you can see this white container below the image widget. Inside expanded content widget, we have address, rating stars, and reviews in a column. Next, we have to change the height, width, and position of expanded content widget. Therefore, let's wrap this widget with animated positioned. Let's set the duration to 500 milliseconds. It should be exactly the same as the duration for other animation, like image widget in our case. Now, let's set the width and height according to the expanded Boolean flag. If it is expanded, we have a little more width and height, otherwise we have less height and width. This is the original position of the container. Now let's also put a bottom inside to change the position of the container according to the expanded flag. If it is expanded, then it is 40 pixels from the bottom, otherwise it is 100. If you see the preview carefully, content inside expanded content widget is fading inside and outside slowly. Therefore, wrap it with animated opacity, set the same duration, and we are checking if expanded content widget is expanded, then opacity is 1, otherwise it is less. And now everything is working fine. Next, we want to build this complex animation which you see here. When we click on image widget, we will go to its detail page in the full view page as in the preview. Therefore, we have to do this animation from here until here. To open the detail page, we use on tap property of gesture detector. Inside the open detail method, we are checking if expanded is true or false. If it is false, make it true and then return. Otherwise, go to the detail page. Inside the detail page, we have app bar and image widget. Here we are calling the detail page. Location object is representation of this data here with text, address, stars, and reviews, which is going inside the detail page. And we also have animation property. This animation property comes from this page route builder. 
Page Builder property of Page Route Builder widget is used to define how this animation should go from one page to the other. Page Builder callback is responsible for building the page content and incorporating the animation. Let's also set the transition duration and reverse transition duration to one second. We can also put some animation here. For example, we want to apply a curve to the animation. Therefore, let's wrap detail page with fade transition and use curved animation for opacity. The curve here is defined as a const interval, which means that the animation curve is applied from 0% to 50% of the animation duration. Next, let's see the preview again. Here we have to connect everything, for example, the avatar on this page and on the detail page, and also connect stars here and on the detail page. Connect this image with image and text with this text. All these things are going from this page to the detail page with cool animation. Inside the detail page, we have a column. First, let's create an image. Wrap this image with stack to have lat long widget over the image, and then paste the lat long below the image. The lat long widget is at the top, which is not visually appealing. We want to put the lat long widget at the bottom. Therefore, set alignment to the bottom center inside the stack. Now, we want to animate this image first from this page to the detail page. Therefore, we have created here a hero widget that we will use for everything that we have to animate from one page to the other. A hero widget is used for creating hero animations. Hero animations are animations that transition between two widgets with similar shapes or content. This is commonly used when we want to smoothly transition an element from one screen to another, maintaining a sense of continuity and visual appeal. We are requiring a tag and a child here inside this hero widget. To animate this image from home page to the detail page, we have to define a tag for the image on home page and also on detail page. If we have to use hero widget for the image, we will wrap the image of both pages with the hero widget, and it is also compulsory to use the same tag for images of both pages. So, inside detail page, first wrap its image with the hero widget. I have created a new class hero tag where we will define the tag of the image because this is the tag that we also need on the other screen to make hero animation work. Inside the hero tag class, for image, we get the URL here and then return it. We will define all hero tags here in this class and access them easily. Now we have to do the same with the image in the image widget class where we have our image. Here we have the build image method and wrap this asset image with hero widget. Now both images have the same tag. After hot restart, now you can see if I expand it and tap on it, it is doing animation with the help of the hero widget of Flutter. And reverse animation is pretty cool. Next, we will create animation for this text and this review section. Therefore, inside the detail page and after the stack and expanded widgets in column, paste here detail info widget and reviews widget. Detail info widget is this widget here at the top. And then we have this review widget at the bottom. Inside detail info widget, we have a column. Let's create address line one, some space, address line two, some space, and stars widget. Let's also create the review widget here. We are creating listview.separated, and inside it, we are building reviews here. Inside the build review method, we are creating a circle avatar, some text, and an icon in a row, and then description text below them in a column. Now if we see the preview again, this white container, which is actually expanded content widget, its text of address line 1, address line 2, stars, and circle avatars are animating in the detail page. Therefore, let's go to the expanded content widget and now search all the widgets that we have to animate when navigating to the detail page. Here is the address line 1. This is actually this text here. Wrap it with hero widget and use the tag of address line 1. Now inside our hero tag, we create a new method address line 1. This is based on address line 1. It is always important to have unique tags because we also have other widgets here. And also, we will need other tags later, so create them here. For the hero widget of avatar, we also need page index to make unique hero tags for every page. Now go back to the expanded content widget, and here is our build address rating, and inside it, we have address line 2 and stars widget. Let's wrap these with hero widget and use the tag from the hero tag class. Also for circle avatar, let's wrap circle avatar with hero widget inside build review. 
Now it's time to do the same with other stuff on the detail page, because you see, only this image is animating right now when we go to the detail page. On detail page, we have this text, this text, these stars, and then circle avatars. We have to wrap all of these with the hero widget. Here we have the detailed info widget. Inside this widget, we have three widgets, which we have to wrap with hero widget. Address line one, address line two, and stars widget. Therefore, wrap hero widget around these three widgets. Now if you see here, the flow of animation is not quite right. There is some problem or something wrong with this text here. We can fix this bug via the hero widget. Simply wrap the child with material widget and set the type to transparency. This is doing all the trick because it will be transparent due to the material widget on top of it if we navigate from one screen to another screen. Now if we go to the detail screen, there is no problem with the text anymore. Material widget is needed always if we animate a text from screen to another screen. Hero widget works fine for images without material widget, but for text, it is needed. Now only these avatars are left to animate, so go to the detail page and inside the review's widget, we search for a circle avatar and here inside build review, wrap it with the hero widget. And now if we click on this image, then they are aligned here in the different review sections. And lastly, we want to animate this text in the review section. If you see the preview, there is no text in the beginning and it shows up slowly. And inside this list view, we are creating every review section like here. So let's wrap the build review widget with animated builder. Let's set the animation to the animation that we get from here. We actually get this animation from the page transition. If we go to the location widget, we have this open detail page method here. Inside it, we have created a page route builder and this page route builder is basically giving us these animations, which we put here inside our detail page. And then this animation is going to our review section. Now back to our animated builder. Let's put the builder inside where we actually want to create this animation and return the fade transition to change the opacity of the text. Also set the opacity here to the curved animation. We use this animation from the page transition. And also define how fast the curve should be animated. Set the child to child, which is actually build review. Now if we hot restart and then go to the detail page, it is changing the opacity here. This is the full functionality of our app that we wanted to achieve, and we have finally achieved it. So this is the cool and amazing animation that we have implemented together. So guys, what did you think of this video? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more content like this.